So go ahead and tell us how you first got started in the acting industry. When did you come over to the States? Okay, so I came over to the States when I was six years old, um, but that was in Chicago, so I never even thought about being an actress or anything like that, mm -hmm. but the thing is, I lived in a little, like, village in Romania until I was six, so I was, like, a little country girl, I guess, <laughs> so my mom decided to put me in etiquette school just to make me, like, more outgoing and everything like that. And it ended up being like an acting and modeling school too. So I kind of got into that by accident and then came out to LA to do this competition thing where I met my manager and it kind of just all got started from there. Wow, that's cool. Everything fell into place for you like that. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's nice. How do you like living in California, that lifestyle? Have you adjusted well? Oh, I love it. People are like, wait, you're from another country? You're like a complete Cali girl. <laughs> No, I love it. I love the weather. I love how there's so much to do here. Yeah, very cool. So you got to tell us a little bit about Crash and Bernstein now. How do you like working on the show? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. I mean, I get to work with a puppet, so it's so cool. I know. I don't think there's a better show than that, like that you get to work with an actual puppet. That's I know, better. right? It's so weird. <laughs> but what is that actually like? I mean, we talk about it, but what is it really actually like? It was so strange, and it, it took a lot to get used to it. Yeah. Because there's like a little, there, I mean, not a little, but there's a person on this little chair rolling around on the floor around you while we're acting. So it's like, you know, it's funny. And at first, we would always look at Tim, which is our puppeteer, rather than the puppet, because he's talking. Right. So, yeah, we had to get used to that, but it's really fun. Ah, is he kind of like the star of the show then, right? He gets all the special attention and everything? Um, the puppet, yeah. definitely. And the then puppet. Tim, we say he's the soul of Crash, so. Uh -huh. Very yeah. cool. Do you have a favorite episode that you filmed? Um, I would say Parade Crasher because I always loved like the circus and stuff like that and there were like a bunch of clowns and all these kind of people doing a bunch of stunts on set so it was really fun. Mm -hmm. And how about upcoming episodes? What can we expect? Um, I have no idea actually. <laughs> I know there's like still the rest of season one to show. But I, I forget, like, I forget episodes we do because I've always just caught up in that one that we're, you know, doing. Uh -huh. But I did hear that Amanda and Crash might, like, be bonding, which is different because Amanda's constantly trying to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's more of bonding or more of just Amanda and Crash going at each other. So we'll have to see. I haven't read anything. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh, interesting. Um, and then also, uh, if you could have any guest star on the show, who would you like to see? Um... One Direction. We always direction. talk about that. I don't know why me and Landry were always like, let's have One Direction here. Well, no joke. That needs to happen. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, they were actually written in one of our scripts, but it was just like, you know, a rough draft. They obviously had to edit that out. <laughs> oh, man. That needs to take place, though. That needs to happen. Right? That's what I think. <laughs> that would be cool. Maybe they can make um, Crash like a sixth member of One Direction and he can like sing along. You know? Oh, that'd be so funny. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I bet you a lot of people would watch that, though. Oh, yeah. We'd get a lot of views. <laughs> exactly. And then also go ahead and tell us, you were also on Lab Rats. Tell us about that experience. Uh, so on Lab Rats, I played Stephanie, which is like a mean cheerleader type. A lot of people would, like, take me to play that role. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that was really fun. I love the cast. You know, they're very great. And then also on Kicking It, I played Mika, which is Jerry's girlfriend. And, um... A lot of fans love that couple combo because mm -hmm. I still get so much, like, tweets and so many things about it. But that was really fun because I got to have an accent, uh -huh. like, an Eastern European one, like, in Romania. So it was really cool. It was different. Awesome. And what about your brown hair also? Do you miss that or do you like your blonde hair? I miss it so much. You do? Um, my natural hair is, like, a really light brown. Mm -hmm. But it was just really fun experimenting with a bunch of hair within that few months, but um, I've always been a blonde, really. Uh -huh. Well, your hair looks cute short. I like it. Oh, thank you. Was, was that your, deci different was that me. your decision to get it cut like that? Um, it was kind of like, you know, going from brown, blonde, brown, blonde, and all these things. It was like a lot. It was really damaging on my hair, so we decided to cut it off so it's nice and healthy, but I like it. It's... Mm. It's a little different. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And now uh, we're going to ask you a little bit about, like, fashion tips. What um, stores do you like shopping at? Um, I like department stores because, I don't know, like Nordstrom and stuff, I find everything there, <laughs> you know. Um, what else do I like? 
a lot. You know, like Brandy Melville, that's really popular now, mm-hmm. and I go everywhere. I, I love Urban Outfitters, Urban Outfitters you know? Good. How about, like, Forever 21? And Yeah, Forever 21, too. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Well, very cool. And then also, go ahead and tell us, um, we see on Twitter, like, a lot of your tweets. You went to Disneyland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did you like Disneyland? Do you have a, what's your favorite ride? I love Disneyland. Space Mountain is my favorite, and it was closed when I went, so I was really bummed out, but it was so much fun. I always have a great time there. Also, for on Twitter, we noticed you made some, um, what was it, some Oreo brownies? Yes, <laughs> Oreo brownies. Yes. Uh, Thinking about not as great as I thought, but they were pretty good, you know, like they were a little burnt on the side, but it's okay. Do you like to cook? Yeah, I love baking, love more baking. than cooking. I'll cook here and there, but I like baking a lot more. I like making um, cheesecakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they come out really good. Everyone loves them. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I actually made cheesecake with Oreo crust on the bottom, so that was really good. That sounds really good. Mm-hmm. Very neat. And how about a favorite fast food restaurant? Do you have one? I barely go, but I guess... If I have to choose, I would say In and Out. <laughs> In and Out, good choice, good choice. Chick fil A, do you like that? I actually do. Uh, when I worked on Kicking It, we'd have Chick fil A Wednesday, so that was so fun. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, I think they still have that going, I'm not sure, but the whole cast is obsessed with Chick fil A over there. <laughs> wow, yeah, Mateo, I see him sometimes tweeting something about Chick fil A too. Is he obsessed with that or what? <laughs> oh my god, yes, Mateo loves Chick fil A. <laughs> He's there all the time. <laughs> He needs to be like their spokesperson or something. I know, right? Why isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. And also, okay, so back to Twitter now. Um, do you have a favorite tweet you've tweeted? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I tweet a lot or like I retweet and reply to fans and stuff, so I can't even choose. Well, one of our favorite tweets of yours was when you tweeted about Phil of the Future. I miss them so much. I'm so glad they're doing Throwback Thursdays. Yes. Exactly. Do you remember even back in the day when they had the Tamagotchis? Do you remember those? Yes, and I was actually playing that. I have the app on my phone, actually. Oh, you do? Yeah. Is it like, so, the, is like it, a virtual Tamagotchi. Oh, it's just like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's neat. Just, yeah, I was playing the app. It brought back memories. Oh, so cool, so cool. And then also, we were going to ask you about your dog, Mickey. Tell us about Oh, yeah, him. he's running around here right now. Oh. He's a, a teacup little... Yorkie. Aww. He's really tiny. He's like four pounds. <laughs> Aww, sweet. How did you come up with the name Mickey for him? Um, well, my parents always said that I'll get a dog if I book a TV show. So I guess I couldn't have one show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, you know, got him then. And, you know, I'm on Disney, so I thought I'd name him Mickey. Oh, that's cute. And that's a good deal, by the way. TV show equals dog. Right? <laughs> for a dog forever and they're like no dogs in my house and I'm like what if I book a really big you know job or something <laughs> they're like okay we'll see oh very neat and also um you've done also a voiceover for Olivia mm-hmm. tell us about working on that yeah how'd you like doing a voiceover oh so much fun I did it for a short period of time but it was really cool it was a different experience because I haven't really done it before mm-hmm. do you like doing that or acting more so live um, I would say both. They're really different, you know. I mean, with like voiceover, you have to kind. Of, it's I think it's harder because you're kind of acting through your voice. Like mm-hmm. with acting, you can show emotion and face and body language and everything. So they're totally different. I like doing both. That's true. Is there any dream role you'd like to see yourself in? Anything? A dream role, um, like as far as voiceover, it'd be fun to play like a chipmunk character because everyone tells me I have like the, the highest pitch voice ever. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could be an Alvin in the Chipmunks movie somehow. Yeah, they can incorporate so you. I don't know. <laughs> that would be neat. That would be so much fun. How about, do you have a favorite movie, anything, or favorite actor? Uh, my favorite movie is Matilda. I love that movie yeah. ever mm. since I was a little kid. Actor, I don't know. I like so many. I can't choose. <laughs> yeah. And then also we're going to ask you about your Instagram. Um, okay. Tell us your username so everyone can follow you on there. Yeah. So my username is Juana Fanta, O-A-N-A-F-A-N-T-A. It's a little bit of a joke because every time I would tell my friends my name, they'd be like, oh, like Juana Fanta, don't you Juana? You know, like oh, the old commercial. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. 